Hi, I'm Bob Jeffrey here in China, and welcome to today's edition of World Makers. Modern China is about cultural collision. From Shanghai's Stock Exchange to Beijing's Ancient Treasures, the world's best brands know that to succeed here, you must do more than speak Mandarin. You must understand the motivations unique to this market and the people. Today, we'll learn what it takes to be world made in China. Welcome to World Makers. Today, I'm sitting down with Vega Wang, one of China's most innovative young fashion designers. Vega really represents the new China. She's young. She lived and studied in the UK. When she came home, she started her own clothing brand. Vega, welcome.、Hi. Great to have you here on World Makers. So, what's interesting is that somebody in your situation five or ten years ago、mm -hmm. most likely would not have left the UK. They would have stayed there, go to New York,、mm -hmm. in terms of the fashion industry. But you came back to China, and hearing you speak, it it sounds to me like you have a real sense of patriotism about coming back to China. Yeah, I mean, that's like, the right word. I'm not sure, but yeah, I mean, like the chi whole China now is so excited with like a lot of things happening here, and I just have confidence with my own place. I mean, like this is my own country, so that's why, like after graduate, I just come back directly and set up my brand. And also, the fashion industry in here is still growing a lot, and I'm really happy to, like, you know, to join the most excited part. Why did you come back to Beijing? What's this? You know, what's the art and creative scene like here? I mean, Beijing is a like it's a capital city, and it's like. It have this exclusive feeling. It's like anything can happen in here, and there's a lot of artists here and musicians here, underground music, like lot of things going on here. So that's why, like, I chose Beijing, not Shanghai. I mean, I love Shanghai also, but Shanghai is more like、um, commercial and settled down city. But Beijing is still have like deep culture in here, and the histories. So that's why I love Beijing. So speaking of that, you know, so many global brands are in China. They're really interested in China,、um, but I, it's almost like the world is waiting for a China brand to make it on the on the global stage. What do you think about that? I mean, why hasn't it happened that、uh, you know brands out of China really haven't become global in the way that the Western brands have?、Um, I think like for branding, it's a long term things. So people need to understand that you need to pay years and years. And on this like branding, and you build up your brand image, you build up your own brand culture. It just takes times. But this country so far still de developing a lot, and there's、um, I don't know. Somehow I feel it's not that easy to let people understand. You need to have a long term slice instead of like short term. Short term. Yeah. So I think we need we we still it it still takes time for people to understanding this. So I, I I always feel that if I could make a project or I could like creative some garments, because obviously people love to be beautiful and they love to see things different, and I also see fashion design as a language to explain something instead of me or to make something happen, but just by making in closing way. So you obviously you know you've got a great reputation. Very creative.、Uh, where do you see your brand going in the next five years? Of course, I want it to go to the global. I, I wish like more people could see our design and understanding what what we are doing, what is our brand culture. So that is the thing we are fighting from now, and I think until I don't I don't think it just take five years, maybe ten or more、right. than ten. So just to go back to China and, and global brands. I mean, what do you think in general、uh, brands need to do in China to become more globally seductive? I think first that we need to find out our own brand attitude. That's really important. Like you know, there's like so many designer, and maybe each of us have different tastes and focus on different things. But first, you have to know that this is the thing you really want to do, and you have to go for it. You need to have confidence first, and then after that, you also need to understand that you're presenting something for yourself. Because some there's most most of the time people I think like focus on China too much, like you're you're the brand from China, and like you're the designer from China. But I think like for for art and design, there's not that much limited between country and country. So I think like for the business part and for the brand 
it's like going to worldwide, of course, is really important for us. But same time, I prefer like everybody just know what exactly you're doing and what you want to show to people. Well, it's been terrific talking to you, Vega. <laughs> and uh, thank, thank you. you for joining us here in Beijing for World Megas.